Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I found a very interesting uh, piece of news and I have some questions because there are major questions and uh, that changes I think or at least shows something that maybe this is going to be the norm in the future. Uh, that is some people, someone uh, posted a picture with an explosion by Pentagon and uh, they said well Pentagon attacked or an explosion or something like that. What's curious about it is that that occurred today a few hours ago and in five hours six hours I can't even remember how long ago that occurred the big great news were fast to tell us and post it that that's actually fake and it's just an artificial intelligence uh, uh, altered picture and the Pentagon said that's fake. Well, I have many questions. First, Pentagon cannot be trusted because Pentagon lied a lot in the past, so has no credibility. The problem is, my surprise is how fast the mainstream mass media hurried to fact check it and tell us it was fake. I don't know if it was fake or not, I don't really care. My uh, point is here how fast these guys moved in unison ba -ba 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 -ba, like an order to defend it was fake. Even the stock market took a little dip uh, based on that piece of information maybe that was the problem. I know there were certain uh, pieces of news more important than that fake or not fake I don't really care so put it aside I don't care if it's fake or not that's not my issue here. My issue is how fast these guys moved, how Pentagon, how quickly they said it was not, and then what are we going to do in the future? What are we going to do in the future? When someone else is posts a picture, this media will come and say that's fake. That's an, um, I don't know, uh, AI modified picture. How can you verify that? You, we can't. So let's say tomorrow they show us a picture of, I don't know, a, an explosion somewhere in, uh, I don't know, certain location on this planet, let's say in the Kremlin. And this guy said, well, the Kremlin was bombed. And the Russian says, no, it was not. And this guy says, yes, it was. This guy says, no, no, it was, uh, uh, it was fake. It was an uh, artificial intelligence uh, altered picture. This guy says, no, that's not true. The Pentagon tells us it was a hit on the Kremlin. Who are we going to believe? They're going to show us pictures. They're going to show us pictures. How can we verify those pictures were accurate? If they tell us, no, no, that's real. Only the other guy's gonna tell no, no, that's fake. Let me show you this little how fast these guys moved. So this is what I'm talking about. Fake Pentagon explosion image spreads online. All right. So this is you know seven hours ago. Seven hours ago. And then you have NBC News, The Independent, CNN, ABC, TMZ, whatever that is, uh, Revolt, The Washington Post, New York Post, all nine hours ago. All is the same. AI generated picture, Twitter slammed after fake pentagon, bop, bop, bop. and I can go if I see more, I can go and probably see much more than that. Just all this. Look, and I, I, I said what? New York, New York, and NBC, CNN, The Independent, all these mo people moved so fast to tell us, including let's start with the first one here, right here. Uh, Agency France Press, Fem fake pentagon explosion image spreads online and they tell us social media users are claiming an image shows a fiery explosion outside the Pentagon on May 22nd. This is false. Okay, well, whatever, man. And this is the picture. They show it is false. All right. Well, I don't really care. My point is, they say it's fake. What if they're going to say something else is fake in the future? Like, for instance, I have this thing. This, this image right here from the insider. The insider let us know today at 7.28 p.m. May 22nd, that the Russian opposition group posts video of what appears to be an anti-war anti flag above Moscow following purported cross-border raid. And they show the video right here. Maybe they show us a picture next time. I think this is the Lomonosov, uh, I think, in uh, Moscow. So what if, or maybe, and what if this is, oh no, this is altered, this is fake right here. No, they just, video appears to show. Who do I care now? I'm sorry, who do I, who do I believe now? If this guy said that was fake, next time when, let's say, we 
I don't know, the Russians are posting something, this guy's gonna say the same thing. Oh, that's uh, AI modified, it's fake. It says who? The State Department? And are we gonna believe it? Why? Because they never told a little uh, or bigger thing? As I said, I have no, uh, I don't dispute the uh, validity, of, validity of that picture and I don't care. It's the how would quickly these guys moved, all those guys, and I can go down that list and you're gonna find the mainstream media. But let's say uh, the uh, fall of Bakhmut, they, it took them some time to report that and not everybody reported. It was like one or two media outlets, you know, and, and many, many other things like this. So what are we gonna do in the future? There's no way for us to walk over there uh, in uh, whatever to find by Pentagon to find out if uh, it really was an explosion or not. I can't do that. There's a few people doing that. And if they, those people are going to post that video, again, these guys are going to continue and say they can. What are they going to do? Believe the person or believe the State Department or the FBI or the Pentagon? Come on now. They have the power to call you names. And these guys here the YouTube or the, the YouTube or whomever that's gonna say, no, 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 did you hear the Pentagon said that's fake? You, Emilio, you, 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 you spread this information and this and that. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's the authority. And the authority, these guys take it as being always truthful. Remember the, remember the uh, Gulf of Tonkin? All right, now, was that fake? Yes, it was. False flag operation, not even, it was a lie. And they, they invade the country, they bombard, destroy the country on a lie. Now, I'm pretty sure that YouTube and others will believe Pentagon just like this versus me or you or whomever. Why? Because they are the authority figure. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to get to that point where things will occur in the future. There will be pictures of whatever occurred. Those will be uncomfortable to certain governments and the governments will come and say, hey, guys, that was not, that did not happen. Go. Did not happen, 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 did not happen. And that's, we are over there to a certain extent because they don't spread. They promote a piece of news, they cover it and they repeat it over and over. And some, you don't hear it. And when you hear it from, uh, let's say, an, an, uh, a bad uh, media outlet, like let's say Russia Today, which we know they're full of lies and all that. You're like, oh my God, these guys lie. I've been told by CNN that Russia today is state owned and uh, it's controlled by Putin himself. He, uh, he's the uh, editor in chief over there. So I, whatever those guys say, I don't believe it, but I believe CNN and FBI and CIA and uh, the Pentagon, all these guys. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, well, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be hard in the future to uh, re harder to discern which is which and what is what. And probably in the name of good and to protect us. That's what I'm going to say. To protect us, they will not allow any information to come from any other space but right here. It's coming. I give you 99% certain on that. That's how I, I feel. I feel I have a gut feeling that's going to happen. But everything with the good intentions to protect us and our future future generations, okay? I saw an article here that the scientists uh, came and told us, told us that uh, it's gonna be very hot uh, on this planet uh, in 100 years from now. Why do you think it's 100 years from now? So you can't drag those guys out from their crypts and uh, you know, throw them in the air if uh, did not happen. It's not uh, 20 years when they, they can be called out, like I made a video on that, all these guys with the global warming in nine years gonna be the end of the world. There's gonna the water is gonna increase this way. It's gonna flood. Gonna, nothing happened of that thing. I made a video on that. Go and check it out. And these guys are now is like changing, like 100 years. So you can't come back and say, hey, wait a minute. So we do the policies now because in 100 years, mm, really? By the, you have to buy this now because in 100 years it's gonna happen that. What? There's no way for me to verify it. Oh, the scientist, it's a uh, consensus. My, yes, consensus. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.